We're discussing 11 more secret details you might have missed in the new Resident Evil 4 Remake DLC separate ways. We're going to be giving a lot of shout outs and you're definitely not going to want to miss this one because we answer the question, what does Besantha mean? But in any case, let's get started. Number one, in the castle section right after killing you three and Luis calls you on comms, as you traverse through the Novistador Nest area, Bowser 52 lets us know that if you look above while walking through this area, you can see a bunch of Novistadors hiding. Now, this is something that I honestly completely missed, but it's a cool detail nonetheless. Leon! Number two, Blue Flare lets us know that in the castle section, when Ada acquires the big fish, AKA the Lord of the Waterway, Ada will state, caught myself a big one. Sure enough, this is the same line that Ethan says in RA8 after defeating Moreau. Caught myself a big one. How long had it been living down here? <sighs> caught myself a big one. Number three, as mentioned in part two, Ada says the line, fly my pretties, which as mentioned is from the Wizard of Oz. But sure enough, movie scenes lets us know that this isn't the first time we've heard this line in a Resident Evil game. In fact, we hear Alex Wester say this line several times while playing Resident Evil Resistance. Fly my pretties, fly. Number four, Alex Zaborowski lets us know that in the castle section right after encountering Leon, if you listen closely, you'll notice that the music that starts playing is the same music that plays in the island section and certain sections of Assignment Ada in the OG RE4. It's worth noting that the setting for the music is obviously still set to the remake sound and music, but it's still funny that we hear the OG soundtrack. Gate and Gong have the same symbol. Number five, Gray Fox lets us know that if Ada wears sunglasses in the island section when encountering the turrets, the lasers will appear as green. Though after testing this several times, I can safely say that this is highly incorrect. Though I did manage to find out how Gray Fox was able to see green lasers. The way you do this is by first going to the display settings in the options under laser sight color and changing the laser color. It can be changed to blue, white, green, and default red. Number six, Chrysalid lets us know that in the first Besenta fight, if you decide to try to leave the fight by going through the doors, Besenta will automatically go into the second phase of the fight. <laughs> My eyes, what's it? Number seven, Slimy McGill lets us know that if you use the infrared scope and zoom in on a ganado that's about to transform, you can see the plaga in the ganado's head before it bursts out. I also noticed that 92% of people that are enjoying the content are not subscribed. So consider subscribing if you guys wanna support what I do here on YouTube, and if you guys wanna see more secret details videos. But anyways, back to the video. Number eight, Blue Flare also let me know during my RA6 stream about two weeks ago that the name Pesanta is a cryptid animal that's based on Catalan folklore. This mythological creature mostly takes the form of a black giant dog described as being thick, incredibly furry, and heavy while also having an iron leg. Sometimes, on rare occasions, it takes the form of a cat. This creature's MO is to occasionally enter homes by either squeezing through a keyhole or just phasing through a wall during the night. And it's worth mentioning that this creature likes to go on top of people's chests, causing respiratory difficulties while also causing nightmares and general distress in its victim. It's also known to go around at night kicking people with its iron leg. It's also worth noting that this creature is also considered to be a sleep paralysis demon, so to any of my Spanish viewers, you guys have my prayers and blessings because I definitely wouldn't want to experience something like that if I lived in the northeastern part of Spain. <laughs> Here are some honorable mentions. Number nine, John Marston edits lets us know that if you play as Leon while wearing his jacket, when he pulls his knife out and sheets it, it goes through his jacket. Funny enough, there's no animation of Leon grabbing the knife from underneath his jacket. Number 10, user QG lets us know a funny mistake that the devs made, but when Leon arrives in the castle section, Luis will contact Leon. The mistake here is that in the base game, when Leon speaks with Luis, you can see a small waterfall behind Luis indicating that Luis could have been in the water room or perhaps the courtyard since he does mention in the comms to meet him at this location. Though in separate ways when Luis has this same conversation with Leon, he's in the tower and there's no water around him at all. Hola, Luis here. Do you 
guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Hola, Luis here. You guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Number 11, J-Cubes lets us know another mistake that's in separate ways. This mistake can be found when Ada is en route to meet Luis after getting stabbed by Krauser. In separate ways though, Luis yells to Leon, though in the base game, this never happens. Sounds like he needs me. Leon! Enough play, rookie. You haven't changed a damn bit. <laughs> what a disappointment. If you guys enjoyed this, then make sure to click this video if you guys want to see part two of the Separate Ways Details videos that I made. Anyways, thank you so much for watching.